So if you saw my last video on making a hot tub, you can see that I'm doing this slightly different, as in I'm cutting, with this one, I've actually cut the um, wood individually rather than as a whole and sanded it to get almost right. And then what you've not seen yet, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna use a router and I'm gonna put a round edge on it because this is actually the top and it's gonna be glued. So I actually found cutting the base, which was going to be inset, was easier to cut in a jumbo circle. And if you want to see that, it's quite fun to watch. I'll put a link in the description. Whereas because this is going to be in part, because it's going to be impossible to lift this top off in one go. So what I've got here is I've got the burner which is in set and I'm going to divide this panel into three. So this is going to be one here over the burner which you can leave on, put your drinks on it, whatever. Then there's the middle section and the other two. You could just get one out for two people or two out for four or the lot out, whatever you want to do. That is about it, that is the back of the hot tub. So it's gonna be a bit wider because it's actually 74, the heater. Um, I've allowed a little bit to trim it. I'm gonna go and double check in a sec. Um, but that's basically the heating area, which isn't gonna be covered.
Okay, so <clears throat> that's the end of day one. I've got most of it built. I offered it up over at the hot tub. And um, one thing I would say about the hot tub, you should really get the stainless band straight away because the top of my hot tub is not perfectly round anymore. You can't tell, but I know it isn't because this is perfectly round. So I've made a couple of adjustments to this. Um, the final glue up, I'll show you now. So these two sections are finished. I just need to make a slotting system and um, some way of locking it down. I'm probably gonna make a handle um, and then slide a bar through just so it doesn't blow off in the wind. And then the final glue up was this two sections. So there's this and this will pull off in one. So I'm gonna remove that from the clamps this morning, run that right through the drum sander, <laughs> belt sander, and um, then I'm gonna work on the handles and the lockdown system. So what I did for the slots, um, my, uh, groove my tongue and groove if you can see it's smaller on the bottom than the top and I turn this over and run it through again So I get a bigger slot on The join one so that when you push it in if there's any wood expansion, I'm hoping that that will take care of that uh, I didn't really know what other other slot to do. This is actually quite a big tongue. It's 10 mil So it's quite a chunky bit of wood. Hopefully that's gonna hold up and toughen up over time So this is the old stave, if you remember, from the first video. And this is the outside of the tub, so I've got that thickness, plus the stave, and then I'm gonna put a series of uh, battens in, and two in the middle so that it slots, so you should see it all slots, so that it hopefully lines itself up. Um, probably the best joint for the joins would have been a half lap, to be honest, but I'd already cut my 10 mil, um, Tongue and groove. I mean, tongue and groove is a better joint as long as the wood doesn't swell too much. But we'll see, and I'll tell you if it does over time. Um, see how it goes. So, I can use this here. I showed you this before. This is really good for what I'm doing. I knew I was doing some round stuff. I've got some tables and this, and it's a really easy way, really, really easy way of marking. Keeps it dead accurate on the side. I've just stuck a pencil in there because I don't really want to get too much ink on the thing. It does come with ink, as I said.
nice simple way to transfer these screw holes. It's going to be screwed with some stainless steel screws down onto the block. I'm just going to glue it, stick a weight on it for 10 minutes till the glue's tacked and I'll just flip it over. So the weights are off. Um, glue's had about, I don't know, 15 minutes or something like that, 20 minutes. Pretty good, firm enough to flip it over. That's what I'm going to do now, one at a time. So the screws I'm using are these SPAC screws. I can put a link in the description. They are 20 pound a box in the UK. So they're not cheap for 100, but they don't tear out and the heads disappear. Once the wood swells, you won't even see it. No need to countersink, but bloody expensive. Sorry about the sound today. It is absolutely blowing a hoolie out here. So the gale is hideous. But let's try, I'm going to put the top on. So three parts, it's not too heavy. There it is, 